Hey everyone, Travis Robertson, CEO and founder of Robertson Coaching International, where we help people just like you create businesses that support your life, not businesses that run your life. And today I wanna to talk with you about something that kinda of scares a lot of agents, and that's commission negotiation, right? When the topic of your commission comes up, a lot of people freak out because they don't know how to handle the downward pressure that we're experiencing on your commission rates. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can counteract that downward pressure and set it up so that you get what you want and truthfully what you deserve because we know how hard you work for that commission. Now it's up to you to show your client that so that they don't count, they don't fight you on this, that they actually appreciate what you do and are willing to pay whatever commission you wanna charge, okay? So the first thing we need to understand is what's called the anchoring effect. And the anchoring effect is this, when somebody throws out a price or a commission percentage, that sets the anchor around which all negotiations are gonna take place. It's a psychological tactic. And what happens is most people don't like to stray too far from that anchor. So the first person who sets the anchor controls the negotiation. So what happens if your client says something like, well, you know what? I know agents who are willing to do it for 4% or 3.5% or whatever it is. And, and how do you counteract that? Because now that's the anchor, 4%. And you've got to negotiate around that and try and bring it back up. The worst thing you could do is try and split the difference. Never try and split the difference or you will lose. So how do you do that? The first thing we have to do is we have to remove that anchor. So what is the tactic for removing that anchor? Very simply, it's this, a little bit of humor and a little bit of being incredulous. So you say something like this, 4%, my gosh, that's ridiculous. We charge eight. And you let that sink in because most people are gonna go, 8%, that's, that's terrible. And you go, I know, it's right. It's almost as bad as 4%, isn't it? In fact, what we do is we charge 3%. The question is, what do we want to give the other side? Do you see what I just did there? I raised, I removed the 4% anchor, I raised it to eight, and then I said what we charge is 3%. Because let's be honest, if it's a 6% commission that you're negotiating, you don't get 6%, do you? You get what? 3%. What does the other side get? 3%. Most people don't understand that. So what you need to do is you need to help them understand that you only charge 3%. The question is, what do you want to pay the other side? And by structuring the conversation that way, what you do is you remove your side of the commission off the table and you say the only thing we're going to negotiate over is what we want to pay the other side. Now let me help you understand what we want to pay the other side and what's traditional in this market. By doing that, you control the commission conversation. Now what I want you to do is I want you to be the first one to bring up the commission conversation. I want to hear you say something like this. By the way, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I want to talk with you about how we structure our commissions. We charge 8% and you use the humor because they're gonna go 8%, that's ridiculous, and you go, no, you're right, I'm just kidding. We only charge 3%. The question is, what do we wanna give the other side? So we use the 8% humor anchor to get them up in a high price point, then we bring them down off of that with the 3%. Don't tell them it's negotiable and say, the question is, what do we wanna give the other side? By setting the anchor, controlling the conversation, you are in much more control of your commissions. Now, the last thing is this. Not only do you need to understand the power of anchoring, you also have to be able to justify what you're gonna do for that commission percentage. So what is the marketing plan? How are you gonna market their property? What are you gonna do that other people aren't gonna do? And how much is that going to cost in terms of an investment? Because they need to understand that you have out-of-pocket expenses that you don't recoup unless you sell their house. So once they understand everything you're gonna do for them, more often than not, you don't need to negotiate those commissions. So that's how you do it. I want you in control, getting every dime you deserve. So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. What do you do in a commission negotiation? How do you structure that conversation? Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who needs to understand how do you negotiate more effectively, and also click subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.